The Chase Pharmacy in Huntsville is facing its third burglary in the last year. The last two happened in the last 30 days. The chief pharmacist says it's harming customers. And the most recent burglary was just last night. The pattern of burglary started this time last year. And the culprits aren't going for cash. They're going for drugs, specifically narcotics, that are hard for pharmacies to replace for customers who may need them. The problem is the medicines that were stolen, we can't replace those in just a day or two. Um, there's a process you have to go through to, to replace Schedule II narcotics. And uh, by the time we get through that process, we'll have finished all of this paperwork with the DEA, with the sheriff, with the State Board of Pharmacy, etc. cetera. The culprits beating in the front door with a mallet each time between three and four in the morning. They come dressed in all black, wearing masks, so they can't be identified by security cameras. The chief pharmacist, Samson, says they've installed numerous security measures, including locks, webbing, and logging chains. But still, the mask burglars find their way inside to steal mostly oxycodone. For the past, the three burglaries, it'd be probably close to street value, half a million dollars. Samson says he had to refer customers to other pharmacies to get their medicines. He says narcotics can take over a month to replenish. The Madison County Sheriff's Department is in charge of the investigation, but Samson says they have not made much progress in identifying the ones responsible. The department says in a statement, investigators are doing everything in their power to resolve the cases as soon as possible.